choosing a team. You got to have a team. Rome wasn't conquered in the day, as they say, and it definitely wasn't conquered by one single solitary person or him and his two or three friends. It was done with a well-organized machine and a great team. You need a team. You cannot do it alone, regardless how many hats you can wear. You can only wear one at a time. So definitely put together a team. First off, we have your manager. Manager is the most important person you can have. He's the first member of your team. He's a member that you're going to value forever. Your manager only gets 15%, but he's worth his weight in gold. A manager is going to help you with your day-to-day -day operations, deciding to go with an independent label or a major label. He's going to help you select the studio. He's going to help you select producers. He's going to help coordinate shows. He gets a three to five year chunk of you. So three to five years is normally the range of a good manager. But trust me, they're worth it. As I said, they're worth their weight in gold. Now, choosing a good manager. An experienced manager doesn't want you. Yes, I said it. Doesn't matter how good you are. Experienced managers rarely sign just inexperienced artists. Not a lot of managers are willing to put that time in to develop artists. That's why it's so hard to get into the business. The people that you want normally don't want you. So you're going to have to settle for someone that is willing to do it. A friend and someone of experience that is outgoing, great at speaking, that is willing to help you develop. And as you build a name for yourself, you may be able to upgrade to a better manager. Next, we have your lawyer. Make sure you get a credited lawyer a credible lawyer, and a reputable lawyer. You don't want a scumbag. Scumbag will work with anybody, doesn't matter how you sound, they'll send your stuff to anybody, whether they're looking for it or not, and they have a horrible name. By you being attached to them, no one will touch you. You want a reputable lawyer. A reputable lawyer just can sit down with anybody, and since they're reputable, they will listen to what they have to say. It's kind of like the boy that cried wolf. You don't want a lawyer that represents anyone saying, this is the greatest project, this is the greatest project, even though it's some crap. A credible lawyer, they'll listen to it, they'll consider it, and you have a million times better chance of getting the deal. Lawyers can get you into doors you can never get into on your own. So get a great lawyer. They know roughly, they're roughly $135 to $600 an hour. So get a great one, and trust me, they're worth it. Next, agents, also called booking agents. Agents are great. They get you opening up for superstars. They get you booked in shows and venues. They handle a lot of your PA needs. Booking agents, also just called agents, are great. Their fee, well, make sure you check into their fees. A lot of times they don't get royalties, which means unlike your normal manager, they're not going to get 10% or 15%. They don't get anything. You pay them just like you do your lawyer. So get one with a good fee, one that you can afford, but that's also going to get you into the venues that you want to be into. And with every single member of your team, have a contract, written out contract with your lawyer, with your booking agent, with your personal manager and every member of your team explicitly stating what they're going to do for you. Have them sign it, you sign it, get it notarized, you know, double handshake on it, everything. Never allow them to say, well, it's not in there, but I'm going to do it, because you know what? If they were going to do it, it would be in there. So get everything in writing. Next is your business manager. Get credentials, get references, 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 references. This is the person that's going to oversee all of your finances in your career. Who gets paid, when they get paid, how they get paid, what bills get paid, are you going to go bankrupt, can you afford it, the entire nine yards. Get credentials. Find people they work for, talk to these people, see how well they did, get people in the field of business, field of music that you're in. If you're doing music, you don't want someone that is only handling donut shops. You want someone that does music and is great with money. A CPA would be great. Like I say, get references, find out what they charge, and once again, ask for a contract, make sure they represent entertainers. Also, with a business manager, make sure they have EO insurance. That's errors and omissions insurance. That means if they file papers on your behalf and put 1-5 instead of 1-5-0, and you end up being fined $50,000, the EO insurance will pay it for you. So make sure they have insurance. Also, make sure you can audit them. Make sure that at any given time, you can give them maybe a 30-day notice or a 7-day notice and come in and see what's going on with your money. Next is a PR person. This PR person is somewhat like a booking agent, but instead of booking you into shows, they're going to try to book you into publicity events, maybe mall openings. 
maybe uh, the source is in town. They want to put you on the in the cover of the source or somewhere in the Double XL magazine. They're going to try to blog you everywhere. They're going to get street team to pass out information with your name on it. Their sole job is to publicly relate you. Make sure that people know who you are. They live and breathe your promotion, which is great and going to be essential in getting you that deal. Finally, the fans. The last member of your team, but the most important is the fans. Treat your fans like gold and silver because a million of them makes you millions of dollars. Love your fans. You set up Facebook. You can set up MySpaces, YouTube. Be visible. Pictures, music. Allow it to be downloadable. A lot of artists say, I don't want my music downloadable. Allow it to be downloadable, but also make sure your name is in it. The name of your band, your name. That way, they know explicitly who you are. Okay. Picking a great studio. We're going to backtrack to making an album. Picking a great studio. Get references. And just as a quick point, a side point. Get references from the studio. Listen to the music they've done. Make sure they do your type of music. If you do rap and or gospel, you don't want someone that does folk and country. But if you do folk and country, you don't want necessarily someone that specializes in rap or gospel. Make sure they do the music that you do. Listen to the stuff. Make sure it's great. Now, independent versus majors. Independent is great. You're a lot more likely to get a record deal with an independent label. Point blank, if they get 10,000 demos per year, a major gets 100,000 demos per year. So 10,000, 1 out of 10,000 looks a lot better than 1 out of 100,000. Now, true, an independent budget isn't going to be $40,000. It may be or $100,000, maybe $20,000, but it's going to be better than nothing. A lot of times doing an independent deal is better than not having a deal at all. Now, if you can score that major deal, that's great. They're going to have a lot larger budget, but they're also going to have a lot more rules and restrictions. Also, beware, beware, beware of the advance. Go to my video on royalties and publishing, and you'll see why. Now, independent versus self-promoting. Is it better to do an independent or go with an independent record label or self-promote? Put it in moms and pops and try to get... Uh, my success and build my success myself. Well, it depends what you want. An independent is going to get you one step closer to superstar. Well, self-promotion may not, but self-promotion can be good as a way of making money yourself or getting the numbers you need to bypass independence and go straight to the majors. That 10,000 units may have only cost you $8,000, but now you've made $40,000 netting $4 a piece, which is great, but it also gives you numbers. So now you can operate doing music solely and making music your focal point, but also you have 10,000 units sold that your manager can go to a major label and say, this guy's moved 10,000 or 20,000 units independently. And he's making it happen. And remember, great music isn't as good as great numbers. Thanks for listening. I'm Johnny Nomega, and remember, dreams can come true.